what I did today. So I ordered Dyna 280 Classic. So now let's see what, what they have inside. All right. This one is uh, in fine tutu caliber. It took almost a week to get it delivered. So let's see. Here we have Dyna High Performance Air Gun. This is uh, anything here? Yeah, not a toy. There's a lot of warnings inside. On the package, it doesn't say anywhere whether this is 280. Anywhere. So here it says 280. Yeah, good. When I took out the gun from the main case, I saw that the angle was not really good. So what I did, I just changed my settings in here to show you better how things uh, are, how the gun looks like. So this, this was uh, the gun that we just saw. Took out the box. Let's open it and then see, unbox. That should be cool, I believe. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, the packing is in uh, is thermo packing, which is not really sturdy. So, but it doesn't matter as long as it comes in one piece to your home, then it's okay. And then you do it just once. All right. So, this is the gun, the Dyna 280. This is a classic. I like classic because uh, this is a small gun. This is not really 34 or 350 Magnum. They are really large. I don't want to carry a lot of weight because I'm going to put a scope on this one. So it will get even uh, heavier. At uh, 7.2 7 pounds. This is 7.2 pounds. This, this, is, uh, this is really good weight. Uh, 34 is a bit uh, heavier, it's only 7.4 pounds, but that is a longer gun, so the balance is not so great, and especially when I'm gonna uh, be using this gun to teach my kids the lessons on, on shooting, look, this is really cool, okay, we have... Uh, the fiber optics here this one this is green and that is red let me show it to you guys how the fiber optics look like very cool so if you see this one here so look they shine really great so this is uh, very nice this is to6 trigger here and uh, looks pretty cool really very nice so first thing you do is check the gun inside out and make sure uh, there are no scratches I don't want to end up with a used gun but this is pretty nice this is very very good condition this is brand new so any drool no drool the, the barrel is uh, is perfectly perfectly straight so this is uh, what Dyna is 280 very good construction really I'm very pleased with this one this stock is not checkered this is classic and I, I like classic it's very easy to clean and uh, very easy to handle so all right so next step is uh, to break in the barrel bore to break in the barrel like smooth out the bore inside and you don't have to really fire 500 rounds through this one i will show you how to do it very 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 nice very quick way to do it and that will give you almost perfect results from the get going 
So first thing I'm gonna do, I will uh, take it to my backyard and I'm gonna fire uh, a few shots through this one uh, just to make sure uh, that everything is good before uh, I smooth out the bore, break in the barrel basically. Uh, so before we do that, uh, I need to oil it. I have bought uh, air gun specific oil. This is from RWS. I will show it to you closely here from a close range. So this is uh, one is uh, for the normal use. This is for hinges and spring and all that stuff. This is for the chamber, the compression chamber uh, in front of the seal. And uh, so th this comes with no applicator, but this comes with an applicator because you need to reach that hole and you need to drop in a couple of drops only. So you need, you need that applicator to do that. So let's oil the gun. These are very good oil actually, by the way. I'm not promoting anything, but uh, I'm just telling that this, these, these are really good oil. So, you take these out. So this one, uh, take out the cap and then in the spring in here you just put in six drops so let me do it all right leave it there and then this one is uh, for the chamber here. So you take off the cap, and then there is a screw with outside this one. So you just screw it lightly, not not too hard. And when you see this is not going anywhere, then uh, you break the barrel. And then from here like this. You, you put in a couple of drops like this here okay, hold on. Right. and then uh, you just uh, move it a bit so that the seal gets wet it might give some drizzling effect maybe for a few shots but it's gonna just wet the seal and tight nicely i did a few shots and as you have seen so the speed for uh, the pallet this is 17.4 grain they are really heavy pallets and i weighed the individual pallets on my scale uh, at an average 17.4 grain and that is speed is coming 568 to 578 I think 578 would have been some dizzling effect but uh, at an average this is shooting at 568 FPS which comes out to be 12.5 foot-pound energy so uh, which is within the range you know it's, it's 12 foot pound gun but it's coming even better and i think when this gun settles in everything is good i'm pretty sure this will go to 13 foot pound which is very nice 4.22 uh, so how do you do the uh, barrel breaking so i have about this one uh, remington uh, gun cleaning kit after uh, I did the other shots with the chronograph, so uh, the results are very promising. It has been consistently shooting at 566 FPS, and uh, the variance is plus minus one or two, or maybe three max. But many of the pellets that is shot were exactly at 566 FPS. The, the pellets that I use, they are consistently at 
or maybe if there is slight variance between the weight then maybe the FPS will be a little bit uh, uh, different. So uh, that, that completes uh, uh, this uh, video. Thank you very much for watching and remember uh, the, the next mod I am going to do on this uh, air gun is put in a piston sleeve because the uh, the spring for these guns uh, they they vibrate there's a tank sound uh, so uh, that will be my next project on this one so i will keep you posted on that uh, and um, we'll see if that improves any results but that's basically uh, to make it more smooth the tank so sound for the spring should not be there uh, the operation will become much 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 better so that will be my next project and i will keep posted so thank you very much for watching and have a good day